Hi, my name is Jan Stringer, and I'm here to give you a quick introduction to strategic planning. Well, many of you have known me for years, and perhaps you remember that my claim to fame is strategic attraction planning. That was something that I introduced early on in the beginning of our company back in the year 2000. So when you do strategic planning, that's what I want you to start with first and foremost is your strategic attraction plan to gain clarity about who you want to attract to your business this year. So for example, this is about attracting relationships with customers or clients, or maybe you want to attract a business partner or even joint venture partners. Getting clear about who you desire to work with is your first step in strategic attraction planning. And it doesn't have to be hard. I did this one that you see here in less than 15 minutes. So it can be fun and it can be easy. My first book, Attracting Perfect Customers, introduced the strategic attraction planning process. And it's easy for you to get either one of these books or go to our website at perfectcustomers.com and I'll show you how to create your strategic attraction planning process. It's a five step process, and that's your first step in learning to think more strategically this year, is starting with that plan. Next, I'd like to introduce you to an overview. This is how I do strategic planning. And I start with a display board and sticky notes. And I categorize each of the main areas that I've been thinking about. And so all of us have lots of, th lots of things that we're thinking about all day long. And so you create a post-it note category and then put your ideas underneath each header. In this case, my first column is about my programs that I offer in 2017. And so I have a post-it note for each one of those programs. And so your program or your product is something that you do to focus on bringing in the income and the revenue that you want. And then I have categories for the book I'm going to write, joint venture partners, and travel. And I'll be adding more categories because I have a lot of things going on in my year. But this is how I get started and seeing an overview of what I want to work on. Next is my sales strategy. This is a product pyramid where you are going to identify each of the areas of products or services that you offer, your price point, and how many units or quantity that you will sell of each one of these price point products. Then you multiply your grand total and then as you can see in the far right I divide it into quarters as well. This is how I come up with my sales strategy or my end of the year sales target. And I've been using this kind of method for many, many years since I was a VP of sales. And I promise you, if you'll do this product pyramid and know what your pricing structure is, price your products from high point to low point, give your people more than one uh, area to focus on so that they have options when they come to do business with you. This is your sales strategy. Transfer all of that sticky note information to a spreadsheet and let that do your math. And it makes it easy for you to track and to identify what your goals are each year. I have a separate spreadsheet for actual results that I'm achieving along the way. And so between the two, it gives me a very good barometer on how I'm doing every step of the day, each step of the way. Might also want to do a promotional strategy. This is mine. I like to look at it at four sections, and that's three months at a time. And this is the first three months of the year. And so I map out all of the things that I'm going to do to be getting people to sign up for my programs how I'm going to get more exposure, how I'm going to do speaking engagements or networking events, or maybe work with a joint venture partner. All that goes on this calendar. I also like to look at my marketing strategy from another perspective. This is an example of that, where I can see things in a different visual 
and I apply things, my goals that I achieve all through the year and can see how each one is feeding one quarter to the next. Okay, well I just gave you a lot of information and I know this is probably not something that you're used to doing for yourself unless you're like me I've been doing it for years and now I can sit down and and actually do this kind of a planning strategy for myself but most of us probably can't do that so I'm guessing you're in that boat and you might like to have some help well first of all congratulations because if you're even thinking about a strategy this year you're giving up uh, winging it and flying by the seat of your britches. So that might have worked when you were a young, younger person at 16, but uh, as a growing successful business owner, business executive, or entrepreneur, it just doesn't work anymore. So instead, you need to give your goals, your dreams, your visions, legs to stand on, and that's a structure that can be accomplished with your strategy. What you need is a strategic mastery partner, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself so that you can know if I might be that partner to support you in meeting your strategic planning needs. One of the benefits of strategic planning is that without the strategy, you can feel like you're not getting anywhere. Part of the strategy is knowing where you are and where you want to go at any moment in time. When I first discovered strategic planning was something that I really enjoyed doing. I was a VP of sales and actually it was something that I created out of a necessity because I needed a way to manage a large sales uh, group. I had multiple people in my department. Uh, I was brand new to that role and actually that kind of a sales department was brand new to the company I worked for. So I used this strategic planning process that I just shared with you and I used it to manage large numbers of people who are all responsible for producing results and I was responsible and accountable for producing an end result for my company. So since that time I've been doing this for many, many companies in various ways, whether it's sales departments to increase their productivity or entrepreneurs to think through what their product funnel is or to uh, just motivate myself and I've been doing that successfully for 16 years and strategy is the main thing that's kept me going over time. Some of the benefits of your strategic planning approach is number one, clarity. Clarity has power and if you know where you are and where you want to go, then that has tremendous power to you as you run your business. Second of all, it provides a structure for you to visualize, create, and expand your business. I find that a lot of people get very excited about I, the idea phase of any part of their business, yet they have problem with implementation and taking it to the next level. However, if you had a strategic plan in place, you could see how you can enjoy the creative process along with the actual process that puts everything into motion. And the strategy is your map to stay on track over time, even when life throws you curveballs. For example, I've had so many curveballs thrown at me for, since I started this business over 16 years ago. I've navigated relationship changes. I've changed my business partnership. I've gone through a divorce. I've become a grandmother two times. I've gone through the ups and downs of the economy, uh, health crisis, you name it, parents, uh, declining health, all of that. Those are just life's curveballs that come to all of us but with my strategic approach I've been able to stay present to where I am each moment in the business navigate around the curveballs and stay in business over the long haul and that's what we all want a strategic plan will also allow you to make critical decisions that help you to achieve the overall desire that you want without hesitation you'll know immediately when a decision time comes up how to go forward and you won't 
uh, spend your time spinning your wheels or holding back something that may be a critical time where you need to really be moving forward. You'll know how to move forward at every moment because your strategic plan is your map to keep you on track over time. Well, with all the strategy in place, one of the things I like most about it is it allows me to apply my, my skills and talents where it matters for most, and that's in the business. And I get to spend more time with my clients. I get more time with doing the things that I love the most, and that's coaching, consulting, planning. I love to do this for other people. I not only love doing it for myself, but I get a real kick out of helping others like you to visualize and put that strategy in place. So let's connect. This is a game changer call. And if you're ready to have this be your year where you apply strategic approach to your business and give up that seat of the pants uh, approach that you've been using, give me a call. Let me know when you and I can meet. Here's my calendar or send me an email and I'll set up a time with you to see how we can strategize a way to have this be your game changer year. All right. I look forward to meeting you and I know that we've got a lot to talk about. Can't wait. Talk to you soon. Jan Stringer and thanks for being part of my video recording today.